socialism in Europe and the Russian Revolution. The age of social change. Many social changes were taking place in Europe in the 18th century. The French Revolution inspired the people with the ideals of liberty, equality and justice. Many people had different views about how the government should work and about the rights of the people. While some people wanted the establishment of the democratic principles, the others supported the monarchical form of government. French Revolution 1789 gave ideas to the world like equality, liberty and fraternity. Raja Ram Mohan Roy and De Rose explained the significance of French Revolution in India to the elite classes. The three main groups of people at this time were Liberals Who were Liberals? Liberals wanted a nation which tolerated all religions. They were against the uncontrolled power of the dynastic rulers. They wanted to safeguard the rights of the individuals against governments. They argued for an elected representative parliamentary government. They favored a well-trained judiciary that was independent of rulers and officials. They were not Democrats because they did not believe in universal adult franchise. Liberals wanted that men of property only should have the right to vote. They did not want the voting right for women. The second group of people were radicals. Who were the radicals? Radicals wanted a nation in which government was based on the majority of a country's population. Radicals opposed the privileges of big landowners and wealthy factory owners. They were not against existence of private property but disliked concentration of property in few hands. The third group of people were conservatives. Who were the conservatives? They were opposed to radicals and liberals. Conservative resisted the idea of change. After the French Revolution, they started accepting change provided it was slow and had links and respected the past. Industrial Revolution The Industrial Revolution first began in the 18th century in England. Later, it spread to the other parts of Europe. Industrialization also resulted in large-scale migration of people from the villages to the cities in search of work opportunities. New cities came up and railways expanded. What were the condition of workers during industrialization? First, workers worked for long hours at extremely low wages. Housing and sanitization facilities were not given to workers. Unemployment was also growing. The coming of socialism in Europe. By the mid 19th century, the ideas of socialism had become well known in Europe. Socialist Socialists were against private property and saw it as root of social evils. Socialists believed that factory owners earn profit because of the hard work being put in by workers but the factory owners did nothing to look after the welfare of workers. They believed that if society as a whole rather than single individuals control the property, more attention will be paid to collective 
social interest the second group of people cooperatives some believed in the ideas of cooperatives robert owen the leading english manufacturer sought to build a cooperative community called new harmony in indiana usa other socialists felt that cooperatives could not be built on a wide scale only through individual initiative they demanded that government should encourage cooperatives karl marx and friedrich engels were well known socialist who believe that profit earned by the factory owners are produced by workers workers had to overthrow capitalism and the rule of private property marx contended that all the property should be owned by society such societies would be communist societies this idea spread to europe by the mid 19th century support for socialism in 1870 socialists over different regions formed an international body the second international to coordinate their efforts to spread socialist ideas they set up funds for members in distress reduction of working hours and right to vote Workers in Germany formed the Socialist Democratic Party and in England Labour Party was formed to fight for better living conditions. Socialist Party was formed in France. However, these parties were not able to form governments in their countries. The Russian Revolution. Condition in Russia on the eve of the Russian Revolution. Russia was ruled by Tsar Nicholas II in 1914. The majority religion was Russian Orthodox Christianity, but the empire also included Catholics, Protestants, Muslims and Buddhist. Economy and Society. About 85% of the Russian population was engaged in agricultural activities Russia was major exporter of grain Industries were located only at few places such as in St Petersburg and Moscow It was in the 1890s that many industries began to be set up in Russia Sometimes The workers had to work for 15 hours at low wages. Workers in Russia came from different backgrounds. The workers formed unions and declared strikes whenever the working condition in the factories deteriorated. Most of the lands in Russia belonged to the nobility and the church. Russian peasants had no respect for the nobility. and wanted the lands of the nobles to be given to them frequently they refused to pay rent and even murdered landlords socialism in russia the russian social democratic workers party was founded in 1898 by the socialist however because political parties were illegal in russia the party had to work as an illegal organization it set up a newspaper mobilized workers and organized strikes the socialist revolutionary party was formed in 1900 which struggled for the rights of peasants the social democrats differed from the socialist revolutionary party on the issue of farmers The latter under Lenin believed that peasants were not united group and cannot be part of the socialist movement as some peasants were poor some were rich and some even employed workers on their fields The party was divided into Bolsheviks 
and Mensheviks. The Revolution of 1905 Russia was an autocracy. The Tsar was not subject to parliament. Liberals wanted to end the state of affairs. They worked towards demanding a constitution during the revolution of 1905. They were supported by nationalists and judges. The judges were Muslim reformers who wanted to modernize Islam to lead their societies. The events which led to Bloody Sunday. The prices of essential goods rose so quickly by 1904 that the real wages declined by 20%. During this time, four members belonging to Assembly of Russian Workers, which was formed in 1904, were dismissed at the Putlov Iron Works. There was a call for industrial action. Over 1,10,000 workers in St. Petersburg went on strike demanding a reduction in working hours and increase in wages. The procession was led by Father Gupon. This procession was attacked by the police and Cossacks. Over 100 workers were killed and 300 wounded. Strikes took place as a reaction. People demanded a constituent assembly. The Tsar allowed the creation of an elected consultative parliament or Duma. The Tsar dismissed the first Duma within 75 days and announced the election of a second Duma. He did not want any questions of his authority or any reduction in his power. He changed the voting laws. He kept the liberals and the revolutionaries out in the third Duma. Impact of the First World War In 1914, the First World War broke out between Germany, Austria and Turkey on one hand and France, Britain and Russia on other hand. Initially, People of Russia supported the Tsar, but as the war progressed, the Tsar refused to consult the Duma. During the war, anti-German feelings ran high and Tsarian, Alexandra's German origins and poor advisors, especially a monk named Rasputin, made the autocracy unpopular in Russia. Russian armies suffered greatly in the hands of the German and the Austrian armies. The First World War impacted the agricultural production and industries in Russia. As they retreated, the Russian army destroyed crops and buildings to prevent the enemy from being able to live off the land. The destruction of crops and the buildings led to over 3 million refugees in Russia. Russia's own industry were few in number and the country was cut off from other suppliers of industrial goods by German control of the Baltic Sea. As a result, there were labor shortages and small workshops producing essentials were shut down. The February revolution in Petrograd. In February 1917, there were food shortages in Russia. While the working class was disgruntled because of the shortages of food supplies, the parliamentarians opposed the decision of the Tsar to dissolve the Duma. On 2nd February, there was a lockout at a factory by the workers. More workers from other factories joined them. In many factories, women led the way to strike. This came to be called the International Women's Day. The government imposed a curfew as the quarters of the fashionable areas and official buildings were surrounded by workers. In the next few days, more people joined the revolution. Politicians, workers, 
and middle class people began demonstration demanding less working hours more wages and democracy they were later joined by the cavalry and soldiers workers formed a soviet which later came to be known as the patriarchat soviet the tsar abdicated the throne and a new provisional government was formed by the soviet leaders the patriarchat revolution finally brought an end to the russian monarchy in february 1917 effects of the february revolution restrictions on public meetings and associations were removed soviets were set up free in individual areas factory committees were formed which began questioning the way industrialists ran their factories soldiers committees were formed in the army the provisional government saw its power declining and the bolshevik influence grow it decided to take stern measures against the spreading discontent it resisted attempts by workers to run factories and arrested leaders peasants and the socialist revolutionary leaders pressed for redistribution of land land committees were formed and peasants seized land between july and september 1917 lenin in april 1917 vladimir lenin bolshevik leader returned to russia what were the demand of lenin april thesis he had demanded that the war should be brought to an end land should be distributed among the peasants bank should be nationalized during this time in russia the committees of workers were formed to look into the working of the industries similarly peasants under the socialist leaders formed their own groups and land committees were formed to handle the distribution of lands to peasants october revolution on 16th october 1917 lenin persuaded the patriarchat soviet and bolshevik party to agree to a socialist seizure of power a military revolutionary committee was appointed by the soviet to organize seizure uprising began on 24th october prime minister kerensky left the city to summon troops military men loyal to the government seized the building of two bolshevik newspapers pro government troops were sent to take over telephone and telegraph offices and protect the winter palace in response to military revolutionary committee ordered to seize government offices and arrest the ministers the ora ship shelled the winter palace other ships took over strategic points by night the city had been taken over and ministers had surrendered all the russian congress of soviet in patriarchat approved the bolshevik action heavy fighting in moscow by december the bolsheviks controlled the moscow patriarchat area while the february revolution led to the end to monarchy in russia october revolution led to an end of provisional government russia was declared as a socialist country after the october revolution what were the effects or the changes in russia after the october revolution the bolshevik party was renamed the russian communist party most industry and banks were nationalized in november 1917 land was declared social property and peasants were allowed to seize the land of the nobility the use of old aristocratic titles were banned new uniforms were designed for the army and officials the bolsheviks became the only party in russia which could contest the elections thus 
Russia became a one party state. Trade unions were kept under party control. A process of centralized planning was introduced. This led to economic growth. Industrial production increased. An extended schooling system developed. Collectivization of farms started. In cities, large houses were divided into several quarters according to the size of the family. Police sentenced and punished those people who criticized the Bolsheviks. The secret police was called Cheka, OGPU, and KVD. The Civil War The Bolshevik uprising was criticized by socialists, liberalists, and nobility. The leaders of these groups moved to South Russia and organized troops to fight against the Bolsheviks. They were supported by France, Britain, Japan, and America as these countries were worried over growth of socialism in Russia. As a result, a civil war began in Russia. Supporters of private property among whites took harsh steps with peasants who had seized land. Such action led to the loss of popular support for the non-Bolsheviks. They formed their troops and were called Greens, which would fight against Bolshevik Red. The pro-Tsar whites controlled most of the Russian Empire. By January 1920, the Bolsheviks controlled most of the former Russian Empire. They succeeded due to the cooperation with non-Russian nationalist and Muslim Jedis. The mechanism of centralized planning was introduced and five-year plans were made. This led to the industrial growth of Russia. This also led to poor working conditions. The schooling system supported by the state developed and peasants and workers were encouraged to enroll into the universities. Cheap public health care was provided to the workers. Many housing quarters were also set up for workers. Since the government resources were limited, the effects of these measures were uneven. The making of a socialist society the Bolsheviks kept industries and banks nationalized during the civil war. A process of centralized planning was introduced. Rapid construction and industrialization started. An extended schooling system developed. Stalin and collective farming. Russia was facing a crisis of shortage of food grains. The peasants refused to sell grains at the price fixed by the government, resulting in the shortage of grain supplies in many cities. Stalin took over the reins of the party after the death of Lenin. He introduced strict measures. In 1928, the party members visited many villages and raided rich peasants known as the Kulkuluks. The party converted small land holdings of many peasants into one collective large farm. All large collectivized farms were cultivated by the farmers with the help of tools pooled together. The profits of the farm were shared among the cultivators. Many peasants resisted the policy of collectivization. They were severely punished by the state. Many of them were deported and exiled. Stalin allowed only some independent cultivations. Russian Revolution and the World Many people across the globe criticized the capture of power in Russia by the Bolsheviks. However, 
many workers and peasants in other parts of the world supported the Russian Revolution. The Bolsheviks founded Committee on the International Communist Union of People Supporting the Bolsheviks. Many non-Russians from outside the USSR participated in the Conference of the People of the East in 1920 and the Bolshevik founded Committee. By the time of the outbreak of the Second World War, the USSR had given socialism a global face and a world stretcher. By 1950, it was realized that the Russian government was not working according to the principle of socialism. Although Russia had become an industrial power and agricultural activities improved, it contended that basic freedom of the people such as the right to speech were denied and that development was a result of repressive policies of the Russian government. Russian Revolution and India India was also impacted by the Russian Revolution. Several people in India attended the communist universities. The Communist Party was formed in India in India by mid 1920s. Jawala Nehru and Tagore wrote about the Soviet socialism. Several prominent Indian political and social leaders visited Russia to understand the principle of socialism. Various writers wrote about the Russian Revolution. In Hindi, R. S. Avasti wrote in 1920-21 Russian Revolution, Lenin, his life and his thoughts and later the Red Revolution. S. D. Vidyalankar wrote the rebirth of Russia and the Soviet state of Russia. There was much that was written in Bengali, Marathi, Malayalam, Tamil and Telugu.